Hi friends, you are watching Unboxing Physics, where we know, learn and understand physics easily. So friends, we are bringing a new series on space time and relativity. We will know how thinking about space and time started and also how the theories about gravity, space, time and their relativity developed. So get ready for this exciting journey revealing the world we live in and its secrets. We bring such cool videos every 2-3 to three days. So subscribe our channel for such videos and also click the bell button to get the notification of our videos first. Now it's time for the series the mystery of space-time relativity. So let's get started. This is the first part of our series. Here we will talk about gravity. Watch till the end to know all about gravity. So the question arises while talking about gravity is what gravity actually is? Why is it an unsolved and very exciting question? Why do we still do not understand why it is absolutely different among all four fundamental forces of nature. Why is it so important and why Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein became so famous for this. To know this, let's go back in time. It all started way back in the 17th century, on the year 1661, when Newton was at the age of 18. He left his home at this age and took admission in Cambridge University. Later in the year 1665, there was an epidemic of plague over London, which shook London. And along with this, Cambridge University was also shut down. So Newton had to return home. Because of this, now Newton had all the time in the world to do his research. Near his house, there was a garden with apple trees where he used to spend some time sitting under the trees and try to understand the secrets of the universe. Then one day, that famous incident occurred which gave birth to modern day physics. An apple fell near him, not on his head, but near him. Looking at the apple, Newton thought, why did the apple fell down and why not anywhere else? So he started his research and said, that the force which makes the apple to fall on the ground is gravity. And also he said that gravity does not only work on the earth, but also on the whole universe. And it is bounded by this force called gravity. Then he explained this in a peculiar way. He assumed that we put a cannonball machine on top of a hill. Now, if we fire the cannonball, then according to Newton's first law of motion, the ball must travel in a straight line forever until and unless any external force is applied on the ball. But due to gravity, the cannonball falls on the earth back. Now if we increase the speed of the cannonball, then the ball travels a bit more further distance but still falls back on the earth. Now if we keep increasing the speed of the ball, then such a time would occur when the ball would go into an orbit and revolve around the earth. Now using this theory, he explained the revolution of moon around the earth and also with this, he explained the revolution of other planets in the universe. For this theory, he gave an equation which is the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the bodies which is divided by the square of the distance between them. In simple language, this means that any two bodies, however small or however large they be, or whatever they be, they attract each other. But this force is very small. Hence, to solve this, Newton added a universal constant, whose value is also very small. He could not calculate the value of the constant, so he gave it the name as capital Z. So his equation now looked like gravitational force F is equal to capital G multiplied by the masses of both the bodies divided by the square of the distance between them. Later, a scientist Henry Cavendish experimentally evaluated the value of capital G which was 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 m cube per kg second square. And then Newton's gravitational force equation became 
एफ इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन टू टीपर माइनस इलेवन इंटू एम वन एम टू बाई आर स्क्वायर आफ्टर दिस न्यूटन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कैपलर्स लॉ फाइंडिंग ग्रेविटेशनल एसिलेशन ऑफ एनी प्लान एक्सेट्रा मैथमेटिकली इट इज शोन एज अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन नेट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू मास मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्सिलेशन दैट इज एफ नेट इज इक्वल टू एम ए अगेन ए इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल जी एम बाई आर स्क्वायर नाउ इन ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड द एसिलेशन इज इक्वल टू ग्रेविटेशनल एसिलेशन विच इज स्मॉल जी सो वी गेट स्मॉल जी इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल जी इन टू एम डिवाइडेड बाई आर स्क्वायर एंड दीज इक्वेश आर सो एक्यूरेट दैट नासा एंड इसरो स्टील यूजेज दिस इक्वेशन फॉर एनी स्पेस मिशन Now when Newton observed the falling of apple more distinctly he found something more strange At that time Aristotle gave a theory that if we throw two bodies of different masses from a certain height then the one with the more mass will fall first but it was proven wrong by Galileo with his experiments He said that even if there is a vast difference between two masses but still they will fall with the same velocity as the gravitational acceleration of any planet is same for all objects. So if we want to measure the average speed of any object say an apple then we would simply have to divide the distance traveled to time required. So Newton wanted to find the speed of an apple at any instant time which was not possible by the total average velocity so for this he needed to find the average velocity for a very small time interval which will tend to zero but not equal to zero hence for this reason newton found out a new branch of mathematics which is called calculus and this calculus is now the backbone of today's science and using this calculus he proved the inverse square law of gravity now according to inverse square law if the apple is twice as far from the center of the earth then the force due to gravity will be four times less but when newton published his paper then questions arise from everywhere that how does gravity act on everything and he literally did not have any answer for this and said that it is a mysterious force of nature which acts by itself but gravity is more mysterious than sir isaac newton could thought about it and how albert einstein uncovers the mystery of gravity we will discuss about this topic in our upcoming videos our next video will be about space time and its peculiarity which will be live in about 10 to 12 days and then we will discuss about the space time special relativity in our third video so stay tuned with unboxing physics as we reveal the secrets of our universe hit the like button if you like the video and also subscribe our channel for more such videos and also click the bell icon so that you never miss any part of our series thank you for watching भारत माता की जय